Hello, this is Megan with Little Gray Squirrel, and today we're talking about how to download the Silhouette Studio software. This information could be helpful for you for a variety of reasons. Maybe you're thinking about getting a Silhouette or switching from a Cricut to a Silhouette and want to try out the software. Uh, maybe you just got a new machine and you're ready to download it. Or maybe you just switched to a new computer and you need to re-download it. Or maybe you just want to use the software for creating uh, SVGs, cut files, or graphics like PNGs for sublimation. The Silhouette software is a really great software for designing, especially once you get the hang of it. So I've been a Silhouette user for a long time, but I recently switched over to a new computer. So today I'm going to be setting up the software on my new computer. So side note, if you are switching from an older computer or a different computer, uh, make sure you back up and save your files. Your, you can save your library and you can also save your user generated files. I never recommend saving files that you create to the library in Silhouette um, just because things can happen. But if you need to, you can back those up. And I'll show in another video how to do that. I'll put a link in the description for that. So this page I'm on here is my Silhouette Studio software comparison chart that I have on my blog. And you can get a link here uh, to the Silhouette America website, or you can go directly to the Silhouette America website to download the file. Um, but if you want to learn more about the software and then updates versus upgrades and where to get upgrades, and then um, sometimes they go on sale. Uh, right now, one of them is on sale. Uh, but I have three places to get the upgrades that I recommend. And then you can learn more about the features of the software and which features are available in which edition of the software. Uh, but for now, let's just go to the Silo America website. And then a little note here about the versions of the update. So right now it's on version 4.5.152. And I know that there have been people having problems, especially with print and cut uh, with this version of the software. This version was released for the new um, auto sheet feeder um, to work with it. And I think it still has some bugs in it. So I'm going to go to download a legacy version. Once this gets updated past 4.5.152, maybe even into 4.6, might be when I update. But for now, I'm going to go back to what I currently have, uh, which is 4.4.554. So you can see this is a little ways back. And if you click on release notes, it'll say when. So this came out August 2nd of 2021. And then it'll say any of the new features that were applied that were released, and then any bug fixes that were made. Um, so if you want to even go to a higher one, let's say we go to 4.4.945, it'll show, you know, this is from May of 2022, and then it'll show some of the changes and the bug fixes. So you can decide which update version you want to go with, depending on your computer. Uh, I know that some people have a problem with Macs. The version, let's see here, 4.4.464 there was uh, an official support for Mac OS, the Big Sur. So if you have that, then you might want to be on that one or above. You just kind of pick a version. I wouldn't recommend going lower than 4.4.554, um, somewhere between here and download it. And then you can always uninstall the software and then go back and choose a different legacy version. Or you can just choose the most recent and see if that one works for you. Maybe you don't have problems. There are a lot of people who have downloaded it without problems. You can also look through the release notes to see if there's anything that would apply to you. So for example, I do have the Cameo Pro. Um, so there was a change, there was a fixed an issue that would prevent users from sending a job to the Cameo Pro. So that would be something that I would be interested in having since I have the Cameo Pro. So I might want to go with this one or this one here. So I'm just going to go with the 4.4.945 and then I can go back to get software. I'm going to choose learn more and then download legacy version. So 4.4.945 is what I'm going to download. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download and it's downloading down here. Uh, if you click on this down arrow you can choose between Windows or Mac but it just downloaded the one for my computer. And then in the downloads, it's either down here, sometimes your downloads are up here. So wherever your file is download to, go ahead and click it and it will open. And click next. And this will show where it's going to be installing the file. And then choose install. A screen popped up that asked if it was okay if I made the changes to my computer. And I choose yes. If you're in this and it just sits here for a long time, make sure you check down here in the bottom of your screen 
there's a little icon with a shield on it and make sure you choose that and allow it to make the changes to your device. If you are on Windows 10 or 11 that it is in S mode, you'll need to get out of S mode to be able to install Silhouette Studio or any apps or software that are not available in the Microsoft Store. I recommend just doing a Google search to find the link that starts with support.microsoft.com to follow the steps. It just involves going into the settings and switching out, but I haven't had to do it yet, so it's better to get the steps from Microsoft than me. And then I'm going to finish and it will launch uh, Silhouette Studio. And then you can decide if you want the software to automatically check for download updates. I'm going to say do not check because I want to be the one to decide if I want my software to update. If the software updates on its own or directs you to and you're not ready yet, it can really throw a wrench into your creating time. And then you can decide if you want to allow Silhouette to collect performance information for Silhouette Studio. I'm going to allow it to, just because I think it's helpful for them to be able to make appropriate changes to the software. And then this is your end user license agreement. Make sure you read all of this. This is an important one here. If you create files to sell, make sure that you read this part. Files in the studio format created with the software may not be sold. So if you are creating files to sell, you'll need to have the business edition so that you can create it in uh, an SVG, a JPEG, PDF, PNG, any other of those other files. You just can't sell studio files. So this is an important one. And then agree. And now there's a new um, walkthrough. So you can just click through and find out what's new in version 4.4. So they have smart snapping guides. These can be a helpful alignment tool, but if you would like to turn them off, you can turn them off in the grid tab of the page setup panel. Print preview. I do recommend doing a print preview, but I don't recommend doing a print preview from the Silhouette software. So if you can turn on print preview from your printer in the printer dialog box, I think that's the better way to go. The print preview can slow down or possibly even make your software crash. I've seen a lot of people uh, talk about that. Uh, PNG Auto Trace, it's a really great feature. It does an excellent job of tracing, uh, but if your computer is close to being full or on the slower side, I definitely recommend turning this off, um, especially if you don't need the PNG to be auto traced. Uh, it does uh, use up a lot of resources and will slow the computer or possibly make it crash. Uh, but it is a great feature. And then as always, up in the help tab, you can use uh, view the user's manual. I recommend printing out the last page. It's uh, the shortcut keys, really handy to have. And that's it. So now we have the Silhouette Studio, and this is the standard or basic edition. This is the free version. So you can see I don't have um, flexi shapes. My features over here end at the sketch panel. You know, there should be several more down here. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my upgrade. I just tried to sign in up here to apply the upgrade edition and the software crashed. So I'm going to open the library. That's another way that you can uh, log in and it'll kind of walk you through, you know, how the library works. And then I can sign in here. And it is syncing. Library setup is complete. I'm going to close the library. Let's see if it'll allow me to sign in this way. So I've signed into my account and I now have access to Business Edition. So now I can see up here it says Business Edition. Um, if you were for some reason not seeing that, if you go into Help, you can go into view in and you can choose if you have business edition it allows you to go back and forth between different editions or if you just have designer edition or designer edition plus it should just show up there if you would rather enter your license key directly into your silhouette account just go to silhouetteamerica.com and then click on your account icon login and you can enter the license key code or if you scroll down on the page you can see which software licenses you already have installed and the details about those licenses. You don't need to worry about the remaining installs. As long as you have a current version of the software, you will be able to activate the license when you log in to the Silhouette software in the library, just as we did here earlier. All right, so now I'm all set with my business edition. I can see that I have all the other features down here. And there's my flexi shapes. I hope this helped you to download the Silhouette software so you can start creating with your Silhouette. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please subscribe so you can be notified of my new videos. I like to help people learn how to use their silhouette without frustration so we can have fun and make stuff.